All right, everybody. So I get a lot of questions um, about my website. Who designed my website? Why did I do it the way I do? Um, a lot of people comment on the pricing, the layout, the one page design. I'm just gonna quickly do a screen share here and actually go over why I did what I did, why I think it's personally effective and seems to be working really well. And I'll show you some examples of my website, but we'll actually start with a couple I made for some others in the past. And it's pretty similar to the way I started. And I'll show you some of the things I tweaked over time on my own website. Um, Cause the ones I made for others is kind of a leave it and forgive it, forget it type of thing. So on mine, I've made a couple updates, which I think were pretty effective. Um, so I'll show you what those are. And then maybe you can drop in the comments what you think is effective, what you don't think is, what you've seen on your end. Let's use this more as a forum for guys to talk about what seems to be working for them in their area. Because every area is different, every market's different. But I'll show you what I like about my website on the uh, computer and then why I really like it because of its mobile conversion. Um, I really think I've kind of figured it out, but you know, some guys have a lot more services, so this won't work for everybody, but I'll show you why I do what I do for mine, because it's very basic, very simple, very easy to do, um, and very user-friendly. I think that's really what it is. It's not super easy to make, but it's super user-friendly for somebody who just wants to know the price real quick and what kind of dumpster it is. So let's get to it. I'll show you real quick. All right, everyone. So what I'm showing you here is one of the websites that I actually helped another uh, roll off guy in Oklahoma design. I've got another one here for Texas that I did and I then of mine, of course, as well. So just like I said in previous videos, guys, my background is in marketing and advertising. Um, I went to school for it and then, well, now I guess I'm a trash man. But outside of that, I actually used to do a lot of stuff online. I focused on user experience, um, Salesforce, so database management, and uh, actually just um, retention as well. So a lot of things that I focus on is just, like I said, user experience. I am not by any means a website designer, but what I have found in this industry is there's this horrible stigma that the roll-off industry or the waste management industry has that people that you talk to are just super rude. And when they call these phone numbers, they get somebody on the other end of the line that's just, you know, a pain in the butt. Doesn't seem like they even want to rent you a dumpster. Um, and you have to call and get the prices. And it's just super frustrating for the end user. And that's where I try to separate myself the most is when somebody gets to my website, when they find me on Google and, and hopefully I'm up there on top with Google My Business, and I focus on that a lot. Um, but once they click on my website, I hope it's super straightforward. So this is, like I said, one that I did for Lime Roloff, this guy out of Oklahoma, awesome dude. He's absolutely killing it. Um, you'll notice with these websites, um, it's super simple. Again, I don't have full control over the websites anymore at all. So there may be some adjustments that they made on their end. Um, so you know, if you're picky about colors, logos, layouts, et cetera, et cetera, um, these aren't all things that I set up at the beginning. Um, I just kind of help them with the framework. So like I said, right off the top of the bat, the first thing you see is a phone number and the guy's logo. Um, and from there, there's certain things where it's just call now and reserve a dumpster, something like that. Super simple. There's a call to action at the top. If you actually click this on mobile, it'll immediately start to dial the phone number. Um, and right here, this is the most important list your prices on your website, guys. There's so many businesses specifically in the dumpster industry. that don't list them. These people don't really want to call you until they actually know your price. You would be shocked how much business you're probably losing by just not listing a price. And I get it. Sometimes you don't want your competitors to know, or you want to actually try to get that sales pitch to the person, but it's so much easier for the person to know, cut and dry, this is the price. This is what they're gonna pay. Um, so this is just you know a super simple layout. He provided me the photos. I did as little verbiage as possible on this, and that's all there is to it. You got your frequently asked questions down here, and you've got a form that you can actually fill out, and he gets a direct email. Um, again, another button that goes straight to the phone number, price, how long you get it and some photos for size you know there's the 30 yard on the back there's a 14 yard in the driveway um like i said the one page design 
is super ideal. There's no digging through tabs up here, trying to see like, you know, the person's about me or, you know, our history or our location. I'll be honest, guys, the end user really doesn't care. They want to know, how can I get a hold of you? How much does the dumpster cost? How long can I keep it? And maybe what is your service area? And then outside of that, they want to know what can I not put in the dumpster or what is acceptable? How can I pay? And that's all in these frequently asked questions. So from there, I have, this is probably one of the more recent ones I did. This was probably the simplest one I also made too. He really only had two prices and two sizes. So it worked out really well. That's the way he wanted to structure it. From there, let's go over to these guys out of Texas, Rock Creek Services. They're awesome guys. They're running a very similar setup to me. Um, as you can see, they're running these Lone Star dumpsters um, versus my Max XD. I base this very similar off of how I designed my first website. And you'll see there's three sizes here or three time periods that you can rent the dumpster. And these are it. So you see these prices and what it, they charge on top of it. And then your FAQs again at the bottom, a simple layout again, it's very similar to the other. I will say this looks pretty good in mobile because these actually stack on top of each other. So, and again, you click on this and it uh, pops up on your phone if you're um, on a mobile device. And I just, I really like the layout of this one. Super easy, you got, you know, Rock Creek, rent the dumpster the easy way, call to action at the top. That's all there is to it, then a phone number. And then you got your prices listed below and what that actually entails. Then we'll jump over to mine. Again, like I said, this is a little different than the others. I've kind of switched mine up for one or two reasons. I looked in my analytics and I noticed a lot of people actually use mobile on my website. So I did, you know, you can kind of see where I got the ideas in the past. I have a rotating thing up here with some photos so people kind of get an idea of what the size of the dumpster looks like next to things. I thought that was pretty important. So this is outside of a garage. You can see the 14 yard dumpster. Um, and this is a 20 in the street. But one of the biggest things I noticed before on my website was I used to bury these two photos of the dumpsters at the very bottom, kind of like I did on Rock Creek. If I was to make an adjustment, I'd probably um, put these a little up front or up higher. Actually, theirs isn't too bad, but before, I just had my prices listed here. I wish I could actually pull up what it used to look like. I just had prices listed. It was very binary looking. And then down here at the very bottom, there were just a couple of pictures of my dumpsters um, in various sizes, which explained it. But this kind of cuts out any question for people of, oh, how big is the dumpster? I get that question all the time. I'll be like, okay, it's a 14 yard and a 20 yard. And they're like, well, how big is a 14 yard? And you're trying to explain that to somebody that it's, you know, the size of a small SUV or crossover or whatever. So by doing this, it really eliminates all that um, conversation. And I list my prices below it under just one of them, just like that. So on my old website, I had it laid out very similar to this. So I had 14 yard, 14 yard, 14 yard. But since I also have 20 yard dumpsters, there was a second row here, which just added a lot of scrolling and it was kind of a pain. But with this, it's just like, okay, here's a 14 yard dumpster. Here's all my prices. And then 20 yard, same thing. But the difference here for me is this plugin. This is the bread and butter of my website, and I love it because every time somebody calls me, I just say, hey, you know, I'm jumping in my truck, which is usually the truth. Do you mind going to my website? You can actually schedule a dumpster on there. Again, at the bottom, I still have my frequently asked questions, which are collapsible, and then I have a little call out that I also have uh, mobile storage as well. But here is the real bread and butter. Somebody can go here, 14 yard dumpster, then they're like, oh, wow, so these are the days that's available. On my phone, I can actually block these days out so nobody else can, you know, book a dumpster if I'm, you know, overbooked already or if I'm going to be out of town. I just block these out for the whole day and say no dumpsters available on my calendar. So then I click in here. The person can then pick a drop off and you'd be shocked how often somebody still chooses 5 a.m. even though they themselves are not going to be up at that time. I think they just hope that that means they're going to get a dumpster. So from there, you go in here, you fill out the name, the email, where on the property is it located, then the phone number, drop off address, and then you choose your sizes. I ask them what there is being disposed of so I can right away see if there's like a red flag if somebody's like, I'm getting rid of 12 refrigerators 
or you know, I'm getting rid of a 90 square uh, roof. And those are going to be super heavy, so I'm like, oh, okay, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, any special instructions if I'm going to have any problems on the property. And then in here, this isn't exactly the way I like it to be, but they actually are responsible to accept my terms and um, agreement. So I tell them if they want to book it, they need to actually copy this. They need to put it in a separate browser. I wish it was clickable, but the plugin wouldn't let me do that. And it actually pulls up my contract, which is a PDF. And, you know, you can always look through that yourself. I probably need to update it a little bit, but then they essentially say, yes, I accept it. And then they can schedule the event. This then, this five o'clock appointment, shows up on my phone. So if I'm running around during the day, um, I can actually see when somebody books an appointment. And then if it's for the next day, I have it planned out. I wake up in the morning on my phone, I pull up my calendar and I know exactly where I'm going, what time and what dumpster I'm bringing to them. So again, I love that feature because I don't talk to nearly as many people. I don't take as many phone calls anymore. Super awesome. This plugin cost me like a whole 10 bucks a month, I think. It was the best 10 bucks I think I spent in my entire business. So that is all I can really tell you guys. Your designs might be a little different. Um, you might go to somebody else and they might tell you otherwise that you need like, you know, 50 menu tabs up here. Again, that's not what I believe in, but try to find my website maybe on um, your mobile device and you can see how well it stacks up. Uh, I might be able to pull it up here in a second on my phone and record it, but if not, just go ahead and go to rollingops.com and you can actually see how it looks. And that's exactly why I like the one page layout, super straight to the point. And um, I believe it is the most user friendly for this um, market because you really don't have um, that many things to show them. I mean, if you are also offering tree services or mowing or landscaping or demo work, you know, you can kind of add to this a little bit, maybe one or two menu items or find a way to make it fit in here without having like an endless scroll. You don't want it to be this endless um, non-stop scrolling, of course, but if you have other services, you can maybe work them into another tab. So that's my two cents, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, drop it in the comments, what you think of my design versus maybe what you're doing or what you see works the most for you. And uh, let's keep the conversation going. Let this be kind of a forum for people to uh, make their own judgments. All right, guys, so this is exactly what I was talking about. Figure out my screen record on my phone. As you can see, I love the mobile display on my website. It's pretty straightforward. There's the 14 yard dumpster right there. There's my prices straight into the 20. From there, you can use that um, calendar booking, same as we did online. Book on here, same thing. You can fill out all the information and you can see all the FAQs on the bottom. And then from there, you can learn a little bit more about my storage as well. So I really do love the way that this worked out. It's super simple, straight to the point. And then of course, you know, click on that and it goes to the phone number as well. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it's too much, too little, um, or just right. And then let me know what you've done differently on your site or what's working for you. Uh, a lot of guys come to me asking me who designed it, who made it. I actually did all of this for myself um, and I've helped a couple other guys out, but um, it seems to be working. I, I have a lot of people say they like the website um, and I'm gonna continue to use it until somebody says otherwise or shows me something that works a little bit better. All right, guys, I hope you like what you saw. I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys might integrate some of your own stuff. Go ahead, like I said, and make your comments and uh, let me know what you think about the site. But also, when you're on my site, please do me a favor when you're just kind of testing out that scheduler, don't submit a ticket or like a booking. Sometimes, you guys, I, I, I get it. You're just curious how it works. But uh, when I make these videos, sometimes I'm getting like 10, 15 people actually booking and I have to actually sort through, you know, what what's real and what's not. So if you don't mind, don't hit submit. You know, I don't mind if you play with the site, but uh, just, you know, be a little respectful of that. Um, and again, keep watching, like, subscribe, follow for future content. Let me know uh, what else you think I should make videos about and I'll keep pumping them out as best I can. Have a good one. Keep hustling and turn that trash into money. Catch you next time, guys.